Sunday, 22nd November 2005, this nine-year-old miniature schnauzer white male was limping on the right hind. Yesterday, the painters came to paint the apartment. After that, he was limping and uh, had difficulty in going to the toilet. So, I did the examination in the first video and then x-ray and it shows that he had this uh, dislocated right hip joint so there are two options one is to surgical to, to uh, do femoral head excision which uh, has a quite a good success rate and the other one is to put a splint for two weeks uh, by reducing the the dislocated dislocated uh, right hip joint. So you can see from the X-ray, which I SMS to the owner, see the right hip joint has dislocated out from the joint. This is the ventral dorsal view. Then we look at the lateral view. Lateral view will be this. You can see the dorsal lateral luxation of the right hip joint. So under sedation, we reduce the, we bring back the hip joint to the acetabulum and then apply a splint for two weeks. Of course, in theory, you should x-ray again just to check on the hip joint. But uh, due to financial reasons, the owner wanted to be as cheap as possible. So we did not uh, do the x-ray. Surprising, this is a dorsal lateral luxation of the right hip joint. And uh, we have the the other view. The other view will be this one, the ventral dorsal view. Nowadays you can SMS to the owner the results, the actual results, without having to waste time. So you can make a decision on the treatment. You can see the luxation or the dislocation of the right hip joint compared to the left. The left is normal. The left is normal, so the left is okay. It's the right here. November 22, Topayo Vets. Right hip joint dislocation, non-surgical treatment. Major schnauzer, male, 9 years old. This plane will be on for 2 weeks and then we'll re-examine it. Singapore, November 22 to 015, Sunday.